All right, Kyle Souza, the reverse flash. I mean, the talking geek here. Just joking. Stupid joke. It's a cool jacket, though. Uh, check out World's Finest. You can get $5 off using the link on thetalkinggeek.com for that. Let's talk about Loot Crate. This is the April 2018 Loot Crate box. Uh, I've been a little iffy about Loot Crate lately, but I have high hopes for this one. Because of the theme, I was pretty excited. Oh, well that's cool. We got the gauntlet there. Thanos. Oh, it looks like the whole box. It's a gauntlet. I don't want to give away all the stuff there, but okay. Let's get to it. Okay, Epic Minis. We've got Frodo, Frodo Baggins from Lord of the Rings, made by artists of the films. This is one they, they were promoting very heavily. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. They were promoting this very heavily on social media. And you could have gotten Frodo Baggins, number one, Golem, number two, the uh, Gimli, number three. He's one of the dwarfs. Uh, Moria Orc, number four, and Uruk Hai Berserker, the Uruk Hai, uh, kind of like the dark elf hybrid things. Uh, that one was number five. Here are the different options. Let's see, watch behind the scenes. Scenes. I pronounce a C in that. That one's silent. Scan this QR code for an exclusive video about making of mini epics. Ah, that's cool. So, mini epics, a Weta workshop, loot crate exclusive. This is a collectible, not a toy. Alright, Frodo Baggins. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one I like the most. Uh, I'm not too big on bad guys, so Urukai and the, and the Orc, not a big deal. A little cartoony. Gimli would have been cool to get too. Uh, Golem, you know, I'm torn about Golem. I actually, I don't hate Golem as a creature. I feel bad for him. I, of course, love the movie portrayal of him and the actor that, that participated there or portrayed him there. Um, but moving, moving on. All right, that, that one was all right. Let's see, next item, got a t-shirt, right off that t-shirt, okay. Got another Marvel Thanos one. Okay, this one's a little more cartoony than the Geek Fuel box from this month. Both of them had Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, this one's got the stones. Uh, Thanos is the lover of death there. Got all the skulls because he worships death. Wants to marry her. He, he wants to marry the physical incarnation of death. Um, so we've got that. Of course, I'm paraphrasing all that. All right, but this is a cool shirt. It's shiny. It's got some shiny stuff on the shirt. And definitely got his his chin going on there. All right, so this shirt's good. We'll see my my Back to the Future shirt that I got from Loot Crate shrunk quite a bit. I was very upset about it because I liked it. I even got a compliment on that shirt. I very rarely get compliments in general, especially on the way that I dress, um, because my my dress is is usually described as I don't care. But I, I like wearing cool shirts. Other people, though, don't seem to be as into it as I am. All right, we've got a pen. All right, we've got a goblet here. This pen un unlocks something epic. All right, I need to go unlock that and see what it is. There's this could be loot crate. This could be different, different goblets. I don't want to say that it's the one from Indiana Jones. That's the first thing that popped into my head, but I don't know. Um, of course, not the one that he was actually supposed to drink from. That one was made out of clay. Uh, it's not as opulent as the one that that did kill the guy. So I'm going to say it's not from Indiana Jones. That was just the first thing that popped into my head. Put a little, little goblet there. All right. The Dark Crystal. Set of six note cards with envelopes. Jim Henson's masterpiece, Dark Crystal. Love this movie. A big Jim, Jim Henson fan. I was actually on the puppet team growing up for my church. You know, deuce puppetry, uh, award winning, won some national competitions, that type of thing. But I like Jim Henson's work, whether it is uh, Labyrinth or Dark Crystal, and I've got the comics for Dark Crystal. These are cool. Let's cut these over. I am not sure who I'm going to send these to, but if you receive one of these from me, know that you are a very special person to me. Uh, because I'm also tempted not to send these to anybody and to just hoard them for myself. Especially if they're different. Oh, they are. They're different. I'm keeping these. I'm not sending them to anybody. I'm sorry. 
Sorry to people, I love you. But look at these. The crystal shard, the crystal of truth was transformed into the dark crystal when an evil Skekis fractured it and sending the world into darkness. With his dying breath, Ursu, the master, told his ward Jen, a young Gefling, that he must retrieve this legendary dagger-shaped fragment and return it to the crystal, or else the Skekis will rule forever. Those guys have some crazy voices, and if you ever get to hear about how they do the sound effects, there's nothing on the inside. If you ever hear about how they do the sound effects or the voice effects for these guys, it's pretty cool. Um, my wife thought the movie was paced a little slow. Uh, we did not get a divorce because of that, uh, but it was, you know, it's a close call. All right, Furka. The Furka is a mystical, sweet-sounding flute carried by the Gefling Jen. Due to its unique Y shape, the instrument is able to produce two tones simultaneously. Jen plays it during a tender boat ride with Kira, and most importantly, at Agra's observatory to discover the true crystal shard. I'm going to need to uh, watch this movie again because it has been several years, probably about six or seven years since I've seen it, and I may not be pronouncing all these correctly. Rejuvenation chart of the Skekis. A destructive species from their very creation, the Skekis will, were responsible for fracturing the crystal of truth and bringing darkness upon the world. As centuries passed and their powers faded, they discovered that they could use the light of the crystal to drain the essence from other creatures and rejuvenate themselves. Love this artwork, though. Great Conjunction Chart. The Great Conjunction is an astronomical event where the planet Thras, three suns, the greater sun, rose sun, and dying sun, appear to converge at a single point in the sky. Each circle on its mystical chart represents a major moment in Thra's history, which includes three of these great conjunctions. Cosmology Charts The planet Thra and its inhabitants are greatly impacted by the movement of the cosmos and its three suns. Agra, the great astronomer, studies the heavens from her observatory to predict the next great conjunction and the monumental changes it will provoke. Um, Again, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing anything. As with real words, with fake words, I also don't always say them right. Thrall map fragment. The mysterious planet orbited by three suns. Thrall was once a lush, verdant land before it was transformed into a barren wasteland by the fracturing of the Crystal of Truth. This map shows the locations visited by Jen the Gefling on his journey to return the Crystal Shard, most notably the Castle of the Crystal. If I ever pull a PS I Love You, I'll use these. Otherwise, I will be holding on to them and not sharing them. Those are very cool. Ooh. All right, the map of Hyrule. Okay, now Hyrule changes from game to game. It's got pretty standard basic layout though. Rolled up instead of folded, which is good. Oh, that's a cool map. That is a cool map. Let's take a look at this in more detail. Got the woods where the master sword is. We got the castle. Got the mountain. Let's see. Hey, okay, you remember in the uh, Super Nintendo game? We were talking to that one guy who's like, "Oh, I used to be a thief. You gotta talk to him before you get to the." to the desert. And then you can't use that big rock till you get the glove. Got the floating islands here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Of course, if you can't read the Hyrule script, you can't read all the names on here. I cannot read the Hyrule script, but it is still cool nonetheless. Um, this is, I like this. I like this a lot. Got the Nintendo emblem on it, so you know it's a it's a licensed thing. This is probably a loot crate exclusive. I'm sure the shirt is. Uh, the epic, the mini epics said it was. The pen, of course, is. Oh, the cards are too. This whole box might be exclusive. We'll see. Let me just put this back in here so it doesn't get messed up. And when I can get it onto a wall, it will then see the light of day. Legend of Zelda, Map of Hyrule. Very cool. Artifacts is the theme. I was so excited about this theme and the franchises involved. I actually got the DX Box 2 
All right, artifacts, April 2018. You've heard the stories. They come from the distant lands and strange worlds, powerful objects forged by ancient creatures capable of aiding you in your quest. Should you use them wisely, uncover these artifacts and find your destiny. Loot Crate Limited Edition, Lord of the Rings, Weta Mini Epics Frodo with Sting. The One Ring may be powerful, but when it comes to awesome Lord of the Rings artifacts, we definitely prefer Frodo's sword, Sting, which glows blue whenever orcs are around. Okay, so this is a exclusive version of Frodo with Sting which explains why he looks different than the one on the back. So these are other ones that they sell that are available. This one is a Loot Crate exclusive version of Frodo. Got it. So everybody got Frodo. Exclusive Joe 3Bot Thanos shirt. Sorry, I don't know that person or company. I'm going to guess that's the artist. Uh, the Mad Titan, Thanos, reclines on his terrifying throne, having completed his latest DIY project, collecting the fabled Infinity Stones and conquering the Marvel Universe on this stylish tee with art by JO3Bot. Exclusive, the Dark Crystal note cards, another world, another time, in the Age of Wonder. This set of six note cards features iconic artifacts and characters from the world of the Dark Crystal. Again, licensed. These are all licensed from the proper people. Um... Legend of Zelda Hyrule map. Link is great and all, but now you can explore the kingdom of Hyrule and Termina yourself with this map. Epona not included. Uh, made by Pyramid America. Licensed for Nintendo. Exclusive Loot Crate Chalice Pen. Some chalices contain ancient and untold power, and we're pretty sure this one does too. We just haven't figured out how to unlock it yet. So that's where the digital content comes in. And the box is the box. So let's take this box apart and put it back together as the glove here. Well, I figured that out. So, uh, this was a really cool box, actually. This is, uh, in my opinion, one of the cooler Loot Crate boxes. You know, the, this minifigure isn't my big... I like Lord of the Rings. I just don't have anything to do with that minifigure, so that makes it hard for me when I don't have, like, something I do with it. You know, I could always wear a shirt. I really like the Legend of Zelda, so that map is great. Um... And then those note cards are really cool. That's only one, two, three, four, four items in the box, which is normal. You know, you're supposed to get four to six. So we get four. This, this thing is hard to open here. Let's see. Let me try reading the instructions on it. Unfold loot crate box and lay color side up. Carefully cut out along all dotted lines and push out the circles on the end. On the inside panel, some of the handle is already cut out. Carefully trim the rest of the edges and leave the non perforated end of the handle attached to the box. Close the box inside out with yellow pattern facing outward. Before closing all the way, fold the handle in half and bend at the non perforated end. Insert the tab of the handle into the larger slit on the other side. Fold the tab downward into the smaller slit, locking the handle into place. Done, you now have the Infinity Gauntlet. Make sure you share your power with us. Hashtag Crickcraft. Alright. First things first, I have to get this undone. I am having trouble with that. There we go. Got to see some other perforations here. I don't want to tear anything. I'm afraid of tearing it. I'm afraid of my own strength. I, I don't have any strength. It's just that this is a cardboard box. And I don't want to break it. Especially since I've really only got one shot at this. Putting it into a video. Uh, I know that this video is longer than some of my other Loot Crate ones have been. I'm trying to make the videos a little bit longer. Hopefully keeping them entertaining. Uh, definitely with more shadows than there has been in the past. My apologies there. Alright. So here we go. following those instructions and that may come back to bite me uh, mostly because I don't remember the instructions I've already forgotten them 
And this just kind of makes sense. So we're going to go with that. And we'll go with what kind of makes sense. This one. Now, of course, I'll be mixing franchises here with low. That got dark. That's just my screen. Sorry. Really breaking stuff now. Just getting this out. Just getting that out. Okay. Got, so I got a little extra light source here because it gets real dark without that. All right. Now that is done. Yes. Okay. Not not gonna use any scissors. Uh, not because I don't have them. Okay. Them right here. Just because I'm stubborn. I guess that's that's why it boils down to stubbornness. Oh, now this is this is the tricky part, and this may be where having instructions and following them could have come in handy. Is I've got to see, I've got to get this into these holes with this junk inside of it. Yes. Because if I, if I just do it like that, no, that, that's no good. It just comes over. Got to do it the right way. Let's see what that right way is. What if I do that? First. Oh yeah, okay. If we fold all of these in here all the way. And we'll put this down in there. And then we'll fold them all up. And then thanks for hanging in there with me if anybody is still watching this. It may just be because you like seeing train wrecks. Uh, maybe you like seeing people struggle with you know, basic motor skills. Um, this is not fitting together exactly. I don't feel like that's my fault at all. It's just the way it's made. But I think, I think I've got it. Yeah. You stick your hand in here. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's, I think, I'd call this a movie quality prop. That's what I would, if I had to describe this uh, in three words, um, I don't think I would call it Marvel Infinity Gauntlet. I don't think I would call it, um, you know, anything really descriptive of what it is. I think I would call it movie quality prop. Thanks for watching. Check out thetalkgeek.com. Save $5 on your own Loot Crate subscription by using the link and code on thetalkinggeek.com. <laughs> and uh, all jokes aside, I love when, when Loot Crate puts something special into these boxes um, that turns the box into a craft. It's just fun. And my kids get to play with it afterwards. They like it. I don't, I don't keep all these. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you putting up with me.